okay, let's let's say this is this is Sunday and I'm starting to go through my charts. I go down to my list down at the bottom of the page and and I hit lists. And so up come of well, all the, the group that I was last on, but I come over here and I, I have some favorites. And so there's Minervini, um, you know, one month uh, trend. Uh, there's 2019, I call it my data monitor, though it's, that's just a, a, a list I put in my stocks that I'm looking at. There's a short list. There's the Market Smith 250. Um, I have Blue Dot, Industry Groups, IBD, IBD Live and Ready and Watch List, and then some flagged, uh, flagged sim symbols. Because sometimes I'm doing this in the car as my, as my wife is driving on Sundays on our way home from church, then I, I because I don't want to write it down in the car and make a list, I just hit flag, I flagged the symbol, and then I looked at my flag symbols later on. So the first thing, thing I do is I, I go to the Market Smith 250. And you'll see four stocks up there, but I go up to the right-hand corner and you'll see layout to view. And, um, and you know, right now it's, I'm always, I'm usually looking at two by two. I think three by three might be a little too small, but two by two is the view I look I at. I actually go back and forth between the weekly chart. And then the sort order is very important. I look at, I always on, on this list, I look at stocks by the industry group rank and I look at the industry group rank the strongest at the top. So I hit apply and then these are the stocks that come up. And so here's the weekly view and what I'm looking for is I'm looking and I wonder if I can use my, uh, no, I can't use my, uh, my uh, I was going to use my pen on this thing, but anyway, so I, I, I look for very tight situations. The first thing that I, I come across is I see CF Industries has been going sideways for that looks like one, two, three, four, five weeks. So I want to, I want to zoom in on CF. There's the weekly. And then I go and I, I, I hit the daily. So I look at the daily and I said, that, you know, that's a pretty good base. It's, I, I would like to see it go sideways for, for another week and then, and then coming, come out of there. But if I like that, then if you see, if you go to the, the left of the, the name up in the left-hand corner, CF Industries, you'll see that little flag. Well, so what I'll usually do is I'll just hit that flag and I'll mark it. So I'll go through all these stocks and I'll just, then I'll go to my flag symbols. And so I can see the stocks that are highlighting. And all I do is I'm looking through and I'm just starting to go page, you know, four, you know, I can go four stocks at a time. A lot of these I'm seeing that are extended in price. Um, you know, they, they've already come out of bases. Um, See, like if you if I go on to FMC, you know, it's it's in an uptrend and it really is only going sideways for a few weeks. And I, I want I want a longer, a longer base. So I'm switching back and forth between the four chart view and then zeroing in uh, on a stock. And so now now we've gone into the the coal group. Um, you know, you can see a uh, alpha metallurgic, warrior met, and and these. And a lot of these are assembled. Now, Warrior Met, I, go, I see that going sideways for a few weeks. And so this might be one, you know, it's above the 50-day moving average. It looks like the volume has come off down at the, down at the bottom uh, in the, that weekly, uh, sorry, the daily, the daily volume. And um, it, you can almost see a little cup and handle forming just in the volume itself. Uh, but, uh, but it looks like this is, it, it's not complete. It's got to go sideways for another, um, you know, it's got to come back up through that 40, 41 area. So that might be one I'll go and I'll hit the flag on and I'll go back to. So then I go back to my lists and, and a lot of these are extended. And, uh, you know, that's why I, I looked at, at Warrior Met Coal, but the, the rest of them on that, on that chart. So I keep on going through and, you got Occidental Petroleum seems to be putting in some time. Let's look at Occidental. Occidental looks like it's going sideways now. You got uh, you got about one, two, three. You got up four weeks. Maybe if it sits there and tightens up for a little longer, it doesn't look like it's ready because 
you've, you've got a few days where it traded higher and closed lower. Like to see it just sit above, sit there quietly above 61, and then um, and then and then maybe break out. I've already got that flagged, so that's good. So so then uh, so then I actually I go through and there's you know there's 250 of these stocks, and so I just keep on going through and looking for names. So here's yeah here's neighbors industries that we that we I might have been have this flagged I think I have this flagged from a week ago or a few weeks ago look at that nice little base that that formed and broke out I should have bought this one I, maybe I had too many oil and gas stocks but anyway broke out real nicely followed through great volume um, so that was one I flagged a few weeks ago um, so. So then it doesn't take that long. And, you know, so far, you know, we've gone through 32 stocks, 34 stocks out of 300 in just a matter of a few minutes. So you can go through this whole list as you're, you know, like this and, and, and get a great review of the, the best stocks. Now, what, what's interesting is if I change the sort order and I look at the groups, the, the, the uh, stocks that are at the, uh, at the bottom, uh, just I'm changing this. So I'm going to look at the worst groups in the top 50. You know, you'll see, okay, here's Zendesk. Oh, you, so you get a, you finally get a technology stock. There's box down at the bottom that, that that's been a stock that's tried a, a number of times, but, uh, but I'll usually get to the bottom, you know, fairly quickly. But the, the other thing that I see in this is that you find very, very few there's Broadcom, but you, the, the, you get a few technology stocks down at the bottom, and that just tells you where the, the strength of the market is. Um, and then I just go after I finish that, uh, I might go to the Minervini, uh, you know, one month sort order. I also have as, as group rank, and you'll see this is picking up. You've got 75 stocks. Uh, about a month ago, you only had about 17 stocks. So these are more turnaround type situations. And I have them in group order to see, hey, maybe a bunch of groups are moving. And so this is where I think I came up with, see, this is this, this um, uh, prop uh, Petro. You can actually see where I have my, where I drew a, a, that's my alert going back. That's when I first picked up that stock. You can see a nice little base, a little almost a little cup and handle formation, and that's where I picked it up. Now, let's let's look at the weekly so you get a bigger picture. Um, and David, yeah, you you talked about the trend line alert. We're getting a lot of questions for setting alerts from the iPad app. Okay, um, address that. Yeah, well, what you what you have to do, you can't draw. At least I don't know how to do it yet, but you, you can't draw a, uh, a trend line um, like you can on the, uh, you know, on your desktop. Um, so what I, what I do is, um, and so I must have drawn that, that trend line. Um, I must have drawn it on my, my desktop. So, but what you can do is you go to the left of the screen, and you'll see that little eye in the left-hand corner of the screen, and you, 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 you hit that. And there you get all the fundamentals, which is great. Uh, but then you can go to, uh, at the top, you'll see snapshot, journal, and alerts. You hit alert. And you can see, I had, I, those are the two alerts that I set. And you can go, it, it looks like a little bell with a, with a plus sign. You can, you can uh, uh, just touch that and up comes price. And so this is where you can, you just put a price in there. And so, you know, I'll, I want this to alert me when it goes through, I'll put 16 on there for my next alert and I go set. And so I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's actually set. You'll um, right now, if you see the left-hand corner, the price is below the alert. The alert price is 16. And it only has to go eight tenths of a percent to get to that spot. So that will that will notify me when that goes through 16. So that's the way you um, you set that. So then um, back up to other lists. You know, then this is where I go through. Then I go through the the um, 197 
industry groups. I have that set as in group order. So this is the strongest groups in the market. And, and I, you know, I look at it, I, I, you know, look at all those nice uptrends, all these oil and gas, oil and gas, media periodicals. I think that's a very small group. So steel producers, oil and gas, mining, things, this gets, and you can go through these also very quickly to see what are, what are in uptrends, what are just breaking out. You know, steel, specialty alloys. Now that, now look at the base on that. So I want to highlight that. That looks like a nice little cup forming. Uh, and maybe you need another, you know, week of going sideways. Um, but then I would, I would flag that, look at that in a little bit more detail uh, in terms of then I would probably go to my desktop and then look at all the stocks uh, within, that, uh, within that group. Because if the group rank, if the group chart is setting up, then, um, then there might be stocks within that group that are setting up. Um, so it's a it, very fast way. Look, there's retail supermarkets that we took, that we looked at, you know, in a nice uptrend. Um, so, uh, and that's, that's basically it. So I go through a number of lists and uh, yes, you've got to put in time, but you got to put in time if you really want to cover the market. And so, you know, I probably spend, you know, at least two hours, if not probably four hours, on a Sunday, and I split it up. I'm not sitting here all day long, but I do some in the morning, you know, do some, you know, in the afternoon, and then then some in the evening, getting ready for uh, for the the week, and and I get my list ready, and then and then I'll also, you know, this is my monitor. This is th these are stocks that I've got. I think I've got like yeah, 70, 69 stocks. Sometimes I sort them in different ways. These are stocks off of highs. I want to see which was, you know, which are some of the stronger stocks um, that I'm I'm looking at um, and, and what they're doing. Now those are these are weekly. It's, I want to probably go into the dailies. Deer looks good. So it's just a matter of organizing these lists to you know to to keep your attention on the strongest groups and the strongest stocks in the market but sometimes if i know i you know maybe a 3 day weekend i don't have it under my favorites but i mean you i can go to um let's see if i'm yeah there there are um yeah you can go to reports and some and then to stocks and there is a list. This is, let's see. Um, it, it, it has the list of the 2000 stocks that are usually, oh yeah, there is a daily graphs company index printed. And you can click on that. And then I would again, sort order would be by group rank. And here you've got, 2000 stocks. And sometimes I'll go through because boy, sometimes that, that 300, that the list of the 300 uh, best stocks, um, IBD three, 250 might, you might miss something. And so, you know, so you're going to see things like this LSB, LXU, LSB industries that I've played for a long time show up that you wouldn't see show up in that, in that list of 300. So you get, you get, a, you know, a much, and then here's like UAN, this is one we didn't even, we haven't, not too many people bring up because it's so thin, but this thing has had a gigantic move. This has probably been, look at the move that this stock has. It's gone from, you know, 18, 20 or so, this thing's trading 175. <laughs> so, so you're going to see things if you go through this 2000 list, but you're, you know, it's going to take you a lot longer to get, to get through that. Could you just take a minute to talk about how you refine that long list of names? Uh, how do you refine it to a shorter list of, of candidates? Uh, well, I just, I just look for, for stocks that are, are, are setting up. Um, you know, I'm, I'm looking to the right side, <clears throat> excuse me, the right side of the chart and looking for, for, for stocks that are tightening up. 
You know, the stocks that have had are in and up move and then are going sideways for, you know, four weeks, five weeks. And then from there, I'm looking, then I'm going to the fundamentals. Um, so this is really my first just technical screen as I'm going through. And I'm, I'm looking, you know, see like there's CF Industries. And then I immediately tap on it. There's the weekly chart. I want to go to the daily chart and, and see how tight it is for four or five weeks to see if that's setting up. I see the volumes moving out. But then I, then I can go to the information and to the snapshot and get the fundamentals and see what's happening, um, what's happening with the, you know, I see, well, this shows you only two, quarter, two quarters of earnings, but, you, but to the left, you can see the yearly earnings and, and a lot of the EPS growth rate and such. Um, so that's, you get, it just takes a while to, to know where everything is, but it, almost everything contained uh, on, a, on the desktop chart is found uh, in using the iPad. And, but it's, it's the iPad is what I go through first, and then I move on to the desktop, or sometimes I'm just sitting here on my iPad going through and I've got the desktop in front of me and, and I get the, the, the more complete picture on the desktop. So you can, you can use both of them hand in hand.